Tom Bowers, Bowers Group LLC. We make suppressors, suppressor covers, some accessories, and have been doing so for about 20 years now. So I've been a Bowers follower for 20 years now. And I know that with membership, there are privileges. And part of those privileges are a secret menu that people are not going to see of normal Bowers group things on the site. Can you tell us about those, or do we have to swear everyone to a special <laughs> oath first? Uh, basically what it is, is the reality being that I'm more interested in making things than keeping up with some website. Okay. Uh, people who know us will typically know what we're working on and they'll get the word out and say, hey, you know, there's this or that that we think is cool that Bowers is working on. Uh, the bidding is one of those things that's on the secret menu. The bidding is our new 22 can through 22 Hornet, uh, 17 rim fires. It is just cute, man. Look how cute this thing is. Um, actually, well into hearing safe on a pistol, um, downright quiet on a rifle, um, this is it on a Sig Mosquito, and as we noted before, ridiculous looking, just cute as a freaking button. Um, a bunch of people will get a chance to shoot this thing this weekend, which I'm really excited about because this thing is a dry can. Uh, we've been asked, hey, you know, what, how much, uh, how much reduction do you get by wetting it? And the honest answer is, I don't know because it doesn't need it. Um, there is the slogan for this can is no wet, no wipes, no equal, uh, because it is just a dry little tiny 2.8 inch can, 2.6 ounces. Uh, it's a titanium tube construction, steel baffles, <laughs> aluminum front cap and mount, and yeah, super light, super short, incredibly effective for something that's that ridiculously small. The Verse 30 and Verse 30T, these have both been out for over a year. They're not on the website yet, They're, so that's definitely a secret menu item. Um, we have Verse Adapt, Threat Protector, so that's the gents who want to leave their first adapt insert on the barrel and then just swap cans back and forth. Um, we now make a threat protector for that. And we also make one can the little ATAS side as well that we brought one. Um, we have a first 375 that's for Oh Lord, it's a titanium cord, aluminum can. I can't give you weight on it right now, but yeah, that thing's, it, it, it was originally designed for things like the 375 Raptor and whatnot. Um, we've since gone on to rate it for everything through 375 H and H. The Verse 475 we originally made for a client of Bighorn Armory in Cody, Wyoming. Uh, that's a 475 line bar that they're chambering this really pretty looking uh, lever action rifle sport. Uh, so we've got a handful of those done. and. Um, yeah, basically, if you if you need something that's big, boring, and kind of odd, we're pretty much the place to come to because we make the quietest big bore stuff that's out there. For folks who've been following this channel for any kind of time at all, um, you'll probably be familiar with the 458 Soko cans uh, that we do. The first 458, uh, the 375 Soko. The Verse 50, the Verse 50, yeah. Um, Jeff uses all our big bore stuff on the big bore rifles because it's the stuff that actually works and is effective. Um, that doesn't mean they're quiet events, but it'll put you in the hearing sink. Now that's the that's the goal. Um, it, and it's difficult. The reason why everybody and their dog isn't doing it is because it is difficult when you end up having this giant sewer pipe of a hole going down the middle of a can and venting straight to atmosphere. It's a little hard to grab on enough gas and actually slow it down and make it sound nice. So that's why. But the only reason why we can do it is because we've been doing it a long time. And it's, we're not the type of people that every day is your first day on the job. Right.